you know, TSM going for heavy engage with their final pick here. It's not a lane counter whatsoever. Rakan really is not known uh, for his lane matchup, but this is something that can actually access the back line effectively. As long as Syndra can't actually, you know, threaten the all-in or bully you out of lane, Silas is really, really happy. Nice mark there with the E, but Palafox stealing away Spika's ultimate does pose a bit of a threat here if they get too close, and that makes them maintain just enough distance that Palafox is able to stay alive. He goes right back in, and it's first blood for FlyQuest uh. as TSM bait themselves into overstaying. If you stand right out of the range as it's captured, you can bamboozle an opponent into thinking you're not actually there and surprise them after. Top lane and Palafox here. Threatening that roam, they're just going to get the full tower. So that is really huge for them. There's no way Liquor pops his ult, pops the chem tank, you know, even has fleet footwork for the bonus move speed there. He's coming so fast at you. And once he's on top, healing up with that ultimate, you know, creating these types of situations where it's less about him, but it's more about the fact that all these spells are spent on him and that frees up his teammates. Oh, here we go. It's a 2v2, but it won't be that way for long. Speaker with a pull back. Jose De Oro is taken down. Hootie takes a kill credit on that one with a 2v2 here in the top side. Sword Art wanting to run away. Oh. Holy cow! 4 HP on the TSM support, and he drops dead. There must have been a leaf on the wind. Hit him in the face or something for that last four. <laughs> Rakan falls over, and it's a two to one game. Yeah, you know? that could be that could be quality content. Yeah, like that with a wholesome org anyway, man. You can make that work. <laughs> you can make that work. All right, all right. TSM's trying to make the mid lane work though. They're going after the tier one. Diamond with a flash in. Power of Evil with a flash out. TP showing up. Licorice finding the opportunity and the angle here on Spica. There is no way Skarner walks out of that one. Free kill for the side of FlyQuest. And what is that? They are summoning up a little bit more help. Shelly has been summoned here in the mid lane to take down that tier one turret. A little bit more damage will make sure that they can secure it, but it doesn't look like they have the opportunity. TSM will clear out the Rift Herald here in time. He's currently sitting at one Drake. Nice buffer on the CC from Johnson. Very easy for Tristana to be able to jump away from some of those stuns. Bottom side, those Sword Art and Lost could just be gifted a freebie right about now. They allow Licorice to walk all the way right there into the brush, lands everything all at once. And with three seconds until the Drake spawns, FlyQuest or 4v5. Your soul is just so valuable uh, in a game like this, you know, both to survive burst, but also when you're... Uh, QSSs are coming through pretty quickly here. Are, are you surprised to actually... Oh. We'll oh, well, they're going after Jose. CC finds him there at the very end. A little bit more damage takes him down, but now TSM may have overcommitted here. Nice punish coming out from the bottom lane of FlyQuest. They've already grabbed the first kill, but they will not grab the second. It is a one for one trade. Both junglers using their flashes there and both still dying. Yeah, both do end up going down. I think that's pretty good for FlyQuest, though, given that Johnson is actually the one that picks up the kill. Now they have pressure here in mid lane. Can likely finish this off. They're going to dive, too. Oh, Palafox is just getting in there. Doesn't even matter that he doesn't hit the stun in the center of kiting it out, slowing it down. Well-timed Zonia's the Everfrost to have that disengage also. And I think Everfrost is so strong on Silas. You know, frontline upgraded themselves, and then you don't just over-index in it. You know, you don't need five people with it. Um, as long as the Kai Kaisa... makes the call, they realize they cannot hold their own in that 1v1 in the side lane against the Jace, so they're going after the Baron here instead. Licorice looking for Huni. Sword Art still down here in the bottom half of the map. Baron I'll down to 3k. Ulti TSM, if they're able to steal this one away, it is going to be huge. But a nice stolen Skarner ulti from Palafox. He will die for this, but it guarantees there is no 50 50, and FlyQuest is able to take the Baron. Yeah, it's so smart because when you are in this side lane, continue to exert that pressure. Now, the rest of the squad isn't particularly in an aggressive spot here just yet, so Huni must be mindful of exactly how many people might be coming after him here. Tries to fight here in the 2v2. Nice backup showing up from Sword Art here as TSM brings in the entirety of the cavalry. Palafox having to keep on running away. A little bit of HP remaining, but the man survives. FlyQuest critically keeping both solo laners alive here in the 2v3 as they take the Drake on the other side of the map. TSM is going split map on this one. They're saying, okay, fine. We will 3v2 you because we are confident in our ability to take the inhibitor and punish. FlyQuest trying to punish on the other end of the map the same way, but it is just not working. 
FlyQuest will now look for an opportunity to go in here yet again, but Huni is way too strong. Johnson's Stacey's here. showing up. Johnson has arrived. Power of Evil eating a lot of damage. Johnson going in. He's found two. He's found three. It's Tristana, baby. Line him up. Knock him down. The power of Evil to get that final shot off. Then, once the minion threat is down of that Syndra, he can jump in and finish off the additional kills. And now TSM is in trouble. There is still... A couple of seconds left on this Baron, so they are for sure going to lose the mid lane in Hib. We'll see how much more they do lose, because TSM have opened up a lot of FlyQuest space, so FlyQuest have got team. Spika on the Skarner has the Flash ready to go, but remember there is QSS on pretty much everyone. TSM still over there on the Drake, and it's stolen away by Jose De Oro as TSM try to go in and go for the fight. Diamond's going to be tanking up here on the very start as Spika's having to run away. Huni goes over the wall, but Johnson comes after. FlyQuest are absolutely decimating Team Solo mid. Sword Art tries to get away. It's a double kill for Palafox. They get the objective. They get the... It did survive. Johnson Buster shot him away to safety, but it's going to be a 2v5 defense. I don't think that there's really much of a chance they can do it. There's even a super there to tank things up, and in they go. There it is. Spika will try to defend. Power of Evil suppressed and pulled back with a stolen Skarner ultimate. Licorice ends up taking him down, and FlyQuest will upset TSM 12-4. Absolutely massive win here for FlyQuest. They have been struggling. Taking down one of the top teams in the league is going to be so huge for their confidence. For